Hey, what's up guys, so Geno's Best here. When I hear the name RED, I immediately think of a video camera that is very expensive, but produces some of the best video that you can get. And even a lot of Hollywood directors like to use RED cameras for their movies that you go watch in the theaters. But now they're going to be releasing a smartphone called the Hydrogen One. And like the camera, this phone is gonna cost you a pretty little penny. And that's because this phone is gonna start off at $1,200. $1,200. Yeah, you're not gonna be getting this phone on a contract or going to your local carrier to be able to get it. You're gonna need to pay full price for this phone outright. And that's just the first version of it. The second version, which is going to be titanium, is gonna cost $1,600. So $1,200 for aluminum, $1,600 for titanium. Who's counting anyway? But what is the Hydrogen One? Well, right on their website, this is the description that they give for this phone. This is a standalone, full-feature, unlocked, multi-band smartphone operating on Android OS that just happens to add a few additional features that shall out of the mode of conventional thinking. Well, this has me interested. I'm thinking to see this is gonna be a really cool smartphone or a robot that's gonna take over the world eventually. But let's go to take a look at some of the things they have unveiled about this phone. But first off, the display is going to be a 5.7 inch professional hydrogen holographic display. And it's gonna be able to produce 2D content along with holographic multi-view content and also 3D content and interactive games and all of that good stuff. Now since nobody has actually been able to get their hands on this display and really check it out, we can only speculate about what this thing is going to be like. Well, one thing I would think is gonna be kind of a little souped up version of the Amazon Fire Phones display. If you don't remember, this is a phone Amazon released a few years ago that had a display where it was showing like a 3D image, but because it had multiple cameras on the front, you can actually move around the phone and view the image and view all around it. So just like the Fire Phone and also the Nintendo 3DS, it's going to be glasses free. So you'll be able to pick up your phone and view that particular content. Or if you're just tired of that gimmick, you can just use everything in 2D like normal. And so this display has my interest. Hopefully this is not the main reason why the phone costs so much because I could probably just do with a regular display. But if they do add some new things under the, the hood for this particular display and make it unique and different, and it really enhances my cell phone viewing experience of viewing content on it, then uh, I'm, I'm keeping my hopes up for it. So we'll see how that turns out. Now, along with a good display, it's also good to have really solid audio. And they're gonna be having multi-dimensional audio and they said it should be similar to 5.1 that you can get with the headphones. Um, so I'm assuming this phone would have multiple speakers. And the reason why I'm saying I'm assuming because they only released one picture of this phone. And from this picture, we can see a couple things. We can see that it does have a headphone jack. And also it's gonna be using USB type C. And also on the sides, it looks like it has different grooves that your fingers will be able to get into and so you'll be able to have a very solid grip on this phone and that's especially important since it costs so much if you drop it and I don't want to see that repair bill but um, so far we really can't see too much else about this phone now below the logo on the back of the phone you're gonna notice something that looks very similar to the latest phones coming from Motorola and it's a little area that allows for modular attachments to be placed so just like the new Moto Z2 play and this allows you to add something like maybe a portable speaker or an external battery battery pack magnetically to the back of the phone and now you can expand its possibilities and so Red said you may be able to get some better camera opportunities and other things like that so that's something that has my interest and this phone is really a component in the hydrogen system is what they call it so this phone will be able to be used as an external monitor for other Red cameras and I think with all the different accessories going to be released for it it's really trying to be a part of something bigger and this may just be like the, the main brainchild of what Red is going to be trying to do for the future and so those are the major things that Red hit on, but they didn't say anything about the processor, the RAM, the storage, even though we do know we'll have a micro SD card slot. We still don't know a lot of details about this phone, especially what about that camera though? What about the camera? Especially because Red has a reputation for a great, great camera quality. So I'm really setting my expectations very high for this phone when it comes out. And they will have some stiff competition between probably the iPhone 8, the Galaxy Note 8 and probably be out by then, and also the Google Pixel 2. So again, my, my bar is set really high for this phone, but it is red when i think of red i think of just some amazing camera quality so i'm keeping my fingers crossed hopefully this is true with this phone but that's pretty much all we know about this phone it will be releasing in the first quarter of 2018 pre-orders are available right now and they made it very clear that they're going to have a hard time producing this phone because of the display they're really not going to have a lot in stock so if you don't get in on this pre-order two things can change the delivery dates can be kind of wonky you may not be able to get one on time but also two on the price could go up as well they're not promising to keep this price the same so if you have some money in your pocket that you just need to spend on a phone that you haven't really seen yet so you want to take a chance be my guest uh, but you'll probably want to wait to see all of us youtubers hopefully get our hands on this phone and be
be able to cover it for you. But either way, I'm really excited about this phone to see what it is. And I'm always interested to see something new come from a new player in the game. And Red is trying to stick their foot in the game and we'll see if they can keep it in it. So anyway, guys, leave your comment down below what you think about this phone coming out for Red. What are your thoughts? You think it's gonna suck? You think it's gonna be great? What do you wanna see in it? Leave that comment down below. And also be sure to follow me on all my social media networks and also to subscribe to me here on YouTube. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Like always, I will catch you later. Peace.